Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Team 3. It's by Brain Games. It's made by Alex Cutler. It takes about 30 minutes to play. It's for ages 14 and up, and it plays three to six players, but if you're playing any more than three, you're going to be on a team. So in fact, I would say it's a three player game, but the game's pretty interesting. The way it works is you see and hear and build no evil. By that I mean, simply there's gonna be one player who is building that cannot see. There is one player who is basically calling things out with their hands utilizing movements and the other player, player who is speaking explaining what the person with their hands are doing while the other player is trying to build while listening and you're trying to build certain combinations of the shapes presented in the game the shapes are little plastic shapes uh, that have different sizes and different uh, move, basically different like types of shapes that are gonna be like Z's and L's and all that kind of stuff and if you can build the specific shape on the card based on the difficulty then you will win you get three minutes to do it and at the end if you can pull it off you're successful and your team's gonna score points it'll go back and forth between the teams or if you're playing cooperatively in a three-player game you're simply going to be playing together to see how far you can get anyway that's a basic idea for the game team three let's go ahead and take it down below i'll show you what you get in the game we'll come back up after that and i will show you some live streaming of how it's done and what i think about it so here's Team 3 and everything you get in it. In fact, this is actually two games, but I took away one set of the shapes, but I have the extra set of cards because there is a unique, I guess, expansion to the game. So if you pur purchase one, it'll give you this expansion. If you purchase the other, it'll give you this expansion here. But for the most part, they're the same game. So basically, you would exclude this when explaining the components of the game. You're going to be getting two shapes of uh, specific colors and a set of each of these colors here. You're also going to be getting an expansion set will provide some more unique and difficult challenging uh, difficulties here there's also a bunch of cards here whether you're playing as the, that difficulty there which is the easy mode and then there's the two which is the next difficulty and then finally the three which is the most difficult of them all uh, these cards over here you're going to have the person who cannot speak but knows what the card looks like and how the shape must be built you're gonna have this guy here who basically uh, can see but cannot hear so he he is going to be trying to look at the person who is uh, is basically explaining with their hands what the shape looks like, and he's going to be telling this player here, who is the builder, how to build the shape. They got three minutes, and once the timer starts, the player here is going to have all these shapes down on the ground, and they're going to start building. Uh, basically, this player here, I'm going to go ahead and show you one. We'll show you a secondary difficulty one, which will be this one here, which will place just like that with this specific player here, and then maybe the next player is going to have this one over here, and then finally the last player which is the builder will be over here. So this player will look at this card and explain it with their hands to this player. And then this player over here is going to speak it to this player and this player cannot see. Let's look for one that's a little easier. Okay, how about this one here? So it's like, okay, go ahead and grab uh, the cross piece and place it down. Beautiful, now go ahead and use your right hand and grab the next one and place it inside on the right hand side. Perfect, just like that. Now grab the same piece and he'll feel around, grab this one. Okay, place it just like, yeah, that's perfect. And the next piece, okay, now feel around and he's trying to figure it out and trying to place it. And as you can see, the shape is being built. And hopefully if you do it right, you're gonna be able to build it correctly. You'll, place, you'll, he'll be continuing to place certain pieces, trying to get that exact shape down to a T. And uh, as you can see, if it gets built just like that, within a three minute time limit, you're going to win. You'll be scoring points in this game and uh, you'll pass it on to the next team if it's playing more than three players. Otherwise, people will just go ahead and switch these and the next player is going to get a chance to go, drawing the new difficulty levels. And that's the idea of the game. It's very, very simple as to how it is played, but with a, a, an ex extreme little challenge, especially when you're playing with these here, because as you can see, this one is much more challenging. It doesn't seem like it, but it is. Or this one over here. Can you pull it off? And you have to try and figure out how to do certain uh, certain challenges. This, these are even more challenging here, as you can see, because this one here requires you to actually place them in weird lines. So that's going to be three, right? And you're going to need another one. So you'll have to place it something like, like this here. And that's going to be one, two, three, and four. And the next one can be placed, and it has to be placed just above for two. So you have to place it back here, maybe, and that's going to be two. And so this can be really extremely challenging. But that is the idea for Team 3, three different players with three different objectives, all working to the same common goal of making sure that they get these shapes correctly placed in a certain alignment. Let's come up, I'll show you some live feed, and I'll explain the game as to whether I like it or not, and uh, whether or not you should pick it up.
Okay, so Team 3. Well, what do I think about this game and some caveats? And while I do that, I'll go ahead and put up in the corner there the uh, live play we did. We did a bit of a live play of this game because it's a fun little activity. Uh, and as you can see over here, this is actually one of the setups for a specific card. This is the easy card and how you set it up. If you can do that within three minutes, you're going to succeed as a team. It's a cooperative game with a team element, provided you have more than three players. I would say it's either three or six players if you wanted to play the competitive team variant. But personally, I just like the three-player game mode i think it's fun i enjoy the cooperative nature of it and there's definitely a challenge in this game as you progress and you'll get better depending on who you're with and how well you guys function together now i guess certain people say this is more of an activity than a game but i don't really understand the difference between the two nevertheless this one here does have a cooperative nature you are working together and there is an end goal so however you want to word the game it is enjoyable uh this of course does remind me of another Another game which you could play on your phone called Sense Sense. It's a game I played, uh, I don't know, about two years ago, which you're utilizing your phone as opposed to blocks, and you are basically going to be manipulating buttons on your phone, whether you're closing your eyes, whether you can't hear, or whether uh, you can't touch anything. And it, it functions basically the same way, but you're not as, as hands on, you're actually just utilizing your phone. And that one is fun as well, depending on if you want to use your phone or if you don't have a phone, you just want to use something like this. Depending on where you are will determine which type of game you like more and which came first. I don't know, I think Sense Sense was probably a little bit before this one. But regardless, both of them have their own unique qualities. Uh, I really enjoy Team 3. I, I've played this multiple times, I've played it with multiple people, and there's always a different challenge and a different strategy as to how you want to play. Uh, most of the time I'm telling people to uh, grab certain pieces if I am the person who is uh, deaf and I'm like okay you need to go to your right with your right arm and go forward and grab this piece or if I am uh, not able to speak but I can look at the card I'm basically trying to tell people okay the L piece the L piece or the T piece grab the T piece okay place it on the left hand side or place it on the right hand side and you can determine whether you want to say things based on the individual who's who's playing the game or based on your own uh, look because you're gonna be looking at different areas on the table you're not all going to be on the same side of the table so you can make it more challenging for yourself or easier for yourself but depending on how easy you make it for yourself it'll probably be make it more challenging for the player who is building the player who is explaining so there is a little bit of different strategies as to how you want to go ahead and build certain things and also the expansions there's two games like i showed you there's the pink and the green box this is the green box here i could have brought the other one but i think you get the idea the other one's just a bright uh, vibrant pink but in each of them it comes with a small expansion pack would i suggest getting both games not really uh, they do have different cards and different organized uh, pieces, but for the most part, you're gonna have just you're gonna have enough play replayability and enough understanding of how the game functions, and uh, you probably not go through all the cards in the game by the time you're finished playing with the game. Uh, it is fun, but there is enough to go around in just one box. However, if you want the expansion ad additions, the little st stacks of uh, expansion decks. Uh, these guys here uh, you can go ahead and pick up both games and they have different rules depending on the expansion This one looks appears easy, but there are specific rules that make it a little more challenging And then the other one has actually got a 3d effect to it uh, Overall the pieces are nice. They're basically little plastic pieces. They're not gonna break They can be played with young kids and it is a good learning exercise as far as spatial awareness spatial reasoning uh, How you communicate with people and then how you also sign in fact people who know sign language and uh, can also read sign language will probably have an easier time with this game I suppose overall I really enjoyed this game I think most people who like a cooperative game that involves a little bit of strategy a little bit of deduction and a little bit of cooperation are going to be in for some fun for the game team three anyway brain games is another great game party game for family members of uh, people who don't like this game probably be people who who find it too stressful there is a sense of urgency people who are not very good at communicating probably won't be into this game as much and people who uh, typically uh i guess the, the people who get too because you get stressed out sometimes when you're stressed out throughout this game trying to play certain pieces and you're like, you're not explaining it right, you're not doing this right, and then there can be that kind of arrangement. I've had that happen once or twice, but for the most part, it's a pretty uh, engaging and fun and uh, exciting experience. So I think you'll know if this is a game for you in your play group. Just make sure that you have three players. It's the only way I'd pro probably personally play. Although if you have two boxes, I think the six player version might work better. I don't know. You can decide for yourself. I'd like them to have them both playing at the same time and maybe do some kind of race or make your own house rules. Anyway, Team 3, that's pretty much what I gotta say about it. If you wanna pick it up, it's down below in the description uh, by Brain Games. Fun, 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 fun. fun.